uh, Kevin Fracking, a reporter on Capitol Hill for the Associated Press. Uh, the House is paralyzed as we speak. It's been without a speaker since eight House Republicans worked with Democrats to oust uh, Kevin McCarthy. Subsequently, Steve Scalise fell short of the 217 needed to become House Speaker. And next up is Representative Jim Jordan, a hardline conservative, co-founder of a, a group of Republicans known as the Freedom Caucus. Uh, there will be a vote on the House floor to uh, determine whether Jordan will become the next speaker. So I feel, I feel real good about the momentum we have, and I think we're, we're real close. So. Jim Jordan says he's looking forward to a vote on the House floor. Jordan is an ally of President Donald Trump. Uh, they are looking to make Republicans put their vote to the public and make it known whether they are with the choice of Donald Trump or uh, oppose. Uh, but in a secret ballot, Jordan was shown to be about 55 votes short of the 217 that he will need to become Speaker. Uh, over the weekend, Representative Jordan and allies were making calls to members trying to narrow that gap. It's unclear uh, how successful they've been, but it is also clear that the campaign is working somewhat and that the number of holdouts has dwindled. Uh, Representative Mike Rogers, who is viewed as skeptical, for example, has uh, come out to say that he now is supporting Jim Jordan. In the coming weeks, the House and the Senate will have to pass legislation that keeps the federal government running. And there's also going to be urgent requests from President Joe Biden to help fund Israel and Ukraine. And Congress cannot act on those requests without a House Speaker and without the House operating.